Hey there, it's Sarah, author, speaker, and advocate for sustainable healing. Welcome to my YouTube channel. For those of you who are new here, it's so good to have you. I find, or I hope you find the information and resources useful. And for those of you who have been with me for some time, welcome back and thank you so much for your continued support. Please make sure to like and share my videos as well as hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already so that you never miss a weekly update. So today we're gonna to be talking more about communal gaslighting, which involves the manipulation of others within the narcissist community. This can include family members, as well as coworkers and direct reports and any acquaintances who believe that they are the narcissist's friend. Um, it is a way to let others, um, to make sure others side with the narcissist and are able to do his bidding for him. It allows him to carry out his underhanded tactics with little resistance. Um, and communal gaslighting is also commonly used when uh, a narc wants to incite a smear campaign against an individual who refuses to comply with his plan. By doing so, he isolates the target, eliminating her social supports. This form of gaslighting can be particularly dangerous because it involves the brainwashing of others um, within the narcissist's intimate space. Communal gaslighting commonly plays out in the workplace as the narcissist rises to a position of power and has authority over others. This is the perfect spot for the narcissist to be in in order to carry out his mass manipulation. Those who are his direct reports will have very real consequences if they don't comply. Communal narcissists also gaslight their victims through uh, establishing community with others. They draw in those closest to the victim in order to incite these smear campaigns. When their efforts are deemed successful, they've drawn in the victim's closest friends and family members, brainwashing them to cut all ties with the victim. This provides an ultimate dose of narcissistic supply as an arc feels that he's won a war that in reality, he was the only one fighting. So you're either with a communal or you're against them. There is no in between. And because it's easier to go with the flow than it is to go against the grain, victims often stay um, in these situa situations much longer than what is healthy with particularly damaging results. If you feel you have been a victim of communal gaslighting, um, either by being manipulated into doing the narc spitting or being isolated by the narc, it's time to cut the cord with this toxic person. Don't be afraid to seek professional help in order to heal. I hope this information was useful. Again, please make sure to like and share my videos as well as hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already, and I will see you again very soon.